doing a final dance exam here on Blue Camp 2. Uh, our reason for doing a final exam is to go in there and just sort of take a look at what we can find. So as you know, sometimes blues play two eggs, and if one of those eggs does not have, we go in there to try to collect the second egg. We're also going to go in there and collect any egg cells that are left behind. We archive our egg cells. Um, we measure the thickness. They go into archive and the information over the years. Um, um, so, as we go in for the final exam, we're just looking it over, again, gathering information to use it in the future, and also to get it ready for the future. Another one for the details. Okay, so we're going to go in for the final next exam. I'm sorry if you couldn't hear me earlier. So we go in for a final nest exam to see what we can find. So if a loon has had an egg or loon has an egg, we can collect that egg. We're looking to collect egg cells. All of the egg cells we collect, we measure our thickness, we archive them, and we use them for future uh, research. So we're all just going in there, see what we can find, get the nest ready for next season. Um, so we're going to head in there and show you what's in there. Yeah, we also have LTO back here, so let me know um, on, if we're talking loud enough and what's going on on your guys' team play. So go to LTO, and I think we're going to get started. Good. Thank you. 
You can hear us? Okay, great. Yes, so far, um, the Lucy and one chicks are doing great. We just had a report on that about three to four days ago, um, where both chicks were excited and confirmed to be doing well. Who is that with the intern? Uh, hi, I'm Ashley. I'm one of the biologists here, um, a uh, field biologist here for LPC for the summer. They want to know if the loons have been able to move to their breeding area. Yes, the loons are in their breeding area, um, and as of today, this morning, they were out there with chick, and everybody looks really good. Um, one of the loons uh, was feeding, the other loon was off about a hundred feet, so everyone's in the area and everyone's doing well. Um, what do you baby chick? Um, so I'm kind of dead and still unknown, um, because we didn't actually have a report and I didn't lay eyes on it when it happened. Um, I was over there Wednesday morning and spotted the parents without either chick. Um, she's doing legal, um, above. And then later that afternoon, although I did not, I did not confirm that the eagle was the cause of it, later that afternoon there was only one chunk pick reunited with um, the parents for the pair. Um, got about three high ashes. Okay, great. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick around for about two or three more minutes for any other questions. Or if I missed any. All right, great. So um, we just wanted to thank you all for following uh, the Loon Camp for the season. The Loon Preservation um, absolutely uh, appreciates your support. Um, if you're interested in getting involved server, uh, further with the Loon Preservation Committee, you can go to loon.org and go to our website. You can gather information. You can become a volunteer. You can donate. Um, and the best thing you can do is also just share the information you gather here with other people so we can bring more awareness to the room, um, which is going to further their success in the future. Um, so we just want to thank you all for following the room jam for this season. We want to thank our host. Oh, we know. Thank you. Yeah, I see the audience. Uh, okay, now I'm going to ask you to the info about the original season one. Um, we had our biologists come out to that lake just a few days ago, and we just have to fight to have both here, and both are healthy and doing well. Um, yes, I enjoy doing the loop with you. I think I'll be excellent about the next time you guys said. So, how long have you been in my summer? Um, what do you mean after a lot? Oh, so after a lot, um, typically loons just move on with business as normal. So there might be a time, um, you know, a few minutes where they're going to continue looking for that check. Um, but if they know that that check has gone or, you know, loss of life to a predator, um, typically they just move right on with protecting the other check that survived. Um, they'll sort of move from the area they were in um, initially. And they just go right on um, with business as normal and continue feeding that chick and breeding that chick um, to the best of their ability. So there's not a really long lag time in uh, morning. Yeah, you guys are very welcome. You've got a lot of thank you. Oh, thank you. This is fun. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's it. Cool. What do you think, Bill? Anything else? Good. All right. So thank you all.
All right.